Good morning from Memphis, Tennessee. It is now Friday. It's a beautiful day. Um, at least it's not raining. But uh, today's the day of the quarterfinals and uh, first performance later tonight. It's going to be sometime after 6.30. But um, I guess I'm going to get outside and just take a little walk around, try to shoot a little bit of uh, Memphis in the morning. So let's do that. Get your rest, man. Now, Doc, call around. I call you to hear me, babe. Well, I'm gone and I'm singing. Thunder ringing all in my head. This is the place. Jerry Lawler's Hall of Fame barbecue restaurant. tonight, 8.30 p.m., and then on Saturday, 9.30 p.m., so, so we're going to spend the next few days. I'm taking another spin around the block, get some B-roll before I go in and maybe have another drink. Not too many, though, because I want to get two in the bag. Another day. Time has finally, finally come. Heading back to my hotel, and uh, just a couple hours to get my stuff together, get ready, get dressed, and uh, off to our first venue, off to our first performance, which will uh, it's going to be. My, I got an 8:30 slot at uh, Jerry Lawler's. So anyway, let's get ready. Game time. today and uh, back on tomorrow 9 30 p.m. same place yep, I 
venue is closed up, looks like. All right. With that, time to go home. Just so happens to be the uh, president, no sorry, the king of Ghana is in town. Please welcome to the stage from the Long Island Blue Society, Rob Europe. Thank you very much. My name is Rob Europe, and I come from the far off land of Long Island, New York. Home of birthplace, I'm sorry, the birthplace of blues legend Billy Joel. Now, if you were here yesterday, you might be thinking to yourself, is he really going to sell all the same jokes he did yesterday? Well, the answer is yes. I think I answered that already. Anyway, so this first song, these are all original songs I'm doing tonight. And this first one, uh, it's going to bring me to the beginning of the pandemic. When everything was shutting down, I thought to myself that, um, you know, I might lose a couple of gigs over this thing. Um, but it turns out I was actually going to have to get a real job. So fast forward to now, and I spent the last two years working at a liquor store doing something a little more essential, so thank you. This one's called Suffer Another. With every darkness all around, I call to you to hear me beg. Upon 
weeks' time, we finally got out of the house, and I took my fiance on a little road trip. It felt good. This next song is kind of dedicated to that. It's called Carry You Away. This is, the, this is the kind of song that you write and you have to spend the rest of your life trying to convince your new fiance it's not about her. It's called, Your Love Ain't the Same. I eventually got out of it, I just told her, honey, it's just a, it's a cover of an old Mississippi John Hurt song. That's not true.
And I appreciate all that you have done, but that ain't a sin I know you please. Well, it ain't a sin that you want to be. Well, that ain't the thing that keep me up at night. Honey, it's quite a shame. I said your love it ain't the same. Honey, it's quite a shame. I said your love it just ain't the same. that kind of play these real like uh, bluesy places like Memphis and Clarksdale and Kentucky and Missouri. I spent a lot of time in Eastern Long Island, New York. That's uh, out in wine country. And I'll end up uh, you know, playing on a Saturday night in a winery in, in a place called Kutchog. And Kutchog, that's Native American. It means land of bachelorette parties. And basically what that means in uh, practice sometimes is a lot of large groups of drunk women yelling at me to play Tom Petty. Uh, so, this song is called Torn Apart. Oh, no. 
crowd, you see me down there.
You happy? Answer questions. You happy? Question mark. Just like yesterday. Are you happy? I didn't play that yesterday.